The topic of this film is, the oxidation. It runs when a candle is burning or a rocket is launched. An old rusted iron fence actually is the result of oxidation. And oxidation reactions even take place in our bodies. Although these occurrences seem to be very different from each other, they all are the result of the same chemical process, the reaction of a substance with oxygen. Oxidation reactions occur in different variations. In the combustion of a substance this reaction is most evident. Substances namely only burn when oxygen is in play. A burning flame is smothered when the oxygen supply is interrupted. Thus, during combustion the combustible material reacts with the oxygen. Combustion is therefore also referred to as oxidation. The role of oxygen in the oxidation can also be seen in the following experiment. If we heat iron wool the iron starts glowing. If we then steep the hot iron wool into a cylinder with pure oxygen, sparks occur. In pure oxygen the reaction runs significantly more violent. This is because here more oxygen molecules are available for reaction than in the air. After the reaction has ended a new material is generated from the starting materials, the black-gray brittle iron oxide. All metals react with oxygen to form metal oxides. In an oxidation reaction always an oxide is generated. If non-metals react with oxygen, the reaction product is a non-metal oxide. When burning non-metals one can make similar observations as with the combustion of iron wool. If, for example, a piece of wood charcoal is heated, it starts to glow. In a cylinder with pure oxygen the reaction is much stronger here, too. However, the final product of this oxidation cannot be seen, because it is a gas. Here the carbon of the charcoal and the oxygen react to form carbon dioxide. The two experiments show. Oxidations run exothermic, thus energy is released, in addition. We recognize that the higher the proportion of oxygen and the finer the combustible material, the more violent is the combustion that occurs. However, there are oxidation reactions in which no sparks or flames arise. These are called slow oxidations. Rusting is an example of a slow oxidation process. Here in protected ion under the influence of water reacts with the oxygen in the air. Gradually a layer of rust forms, it is iron hydroxide. Another form of slow oxidation takes place in our body. For example, in our body cells carbon atoms from the carbohydrates that we ingest with the food combine with oxygen from the blood. One of the reaction products then is carbon dioxide, which we exhale. Such slow oxidations also run exothermic. The amounts of energy here are obviously not as high as in a combustion. But the energy released during oxidation in our body amongst other things maintains the body temperature. Oxygen is ubiquitous in our air. That is why there are many chemical compounds in which oxygen occurs. Actually, oxides are the most abundant of natural compounds, even water is an oxide, namely hydrogen oxide. Fortunately not all substances react violently or spontaneously with oxygen. Therefore we can confidently rule out that our rusting fence will suddenly explode.